Hey, this is Edison Abelar from Passion47. I'm excited to show you this new audio system that came with Unity 5.0. Now, before this new audio system, which you can see here is actually called Audio Mixer, before that, what we had was is we had our single audio listener, which either came on your default camera or on your, uh, if in this case, if you're using a character controller or a first person, you always had one active listener within your scene. So the way it worked was is we would, I'm just going to grab my pen, we would have this listener here, and all it would do is listen for new sounds. That's it. Just listen for new sounds. So let's say we had birds chirping. This bird chirp will go directly into our audio listener. Kind of curved a little bit, but <laughs> it made it. Um, let's say we had some kind of fire going on here. This would go directly into our audio listener. But what would happen if we wanted to, let's say, mix together. Let's say we had three different types of birds. Let's say we want to mix all four of these bird sounds together into one master mix and bring it here. Well, we couldn't do that natively, at least um, in Unity. What we would have to do then is, is grab another uh, asset and somebody, you know, there, there are actually quite a few really good ones on the asset store that would allow you to do this type of mixing that, uh, you know, let, let's say we wanted to do more mixes and we just wanted to, to nest mix into mix into mix and then bring them back all together into one master mix we couldn't do that you know assets would mimic it but it just wouldn't take advantage of what unity had to offer and so with this 5.0 release we actually have the ability to fully master mixes right within unity and take full advantage of using the api working in the editor and everything you know about unity so to get started, let's just grab some clips. I'm going to drag our birds. I'm going to drag our wind light. And I'm just going to hit play. Now, you can barely hear it. But that's just our wind playing in the background along with our birds chirping. That's nothing new. What is new is, is we have this new output option. Currently, it says there's none because we don't have a mixer already in our scene. So I've actually created a folder to just organize my mixers, and I can create this new audio mixer, and I'm going to call it Level 1. I'm going to duplicate that, and then we have Level 1 and Level 2. So this is just gives you a way to organize your mixers. So I have 1 and 2 here. Now, what we can do is, right off the bat, take both of our new audio sources and I'll put them right into level one master group now once you do that we can hit play and you'll actually see if I hit edit in well we have to first select level one so I have level two selected and that's why nothing is updating but level one has the actual audio so as you can see I can control the sound the volume right from within here and you see this edit in play mode is something that also just came about as well so now that we can mix our sound this is great but we kind of have the same problem we had last time and it's that all of the audio is coming down into one place again so what also came with this new system is, is this groups which allows you to further organize your audio clips so we still have the master groups so everything goes into our master group but we can now say um, BG sounds right background sounds and I can then take our songs here our bird songs and throw it into now we can twirl this down we have background sounds and we have uh, we still have our wind light, so we can still throw that into background sounds, or we can split this up and create something else, and we can call this wind. So now we have background sounds, and we have wind. So I choose my wind, and right now it's still pushing to the master, which we don't want. We bring it to our wind, and when we hit play now, you'll see that now we have three separate instances where we can modify our audio. The master group controls everything. So as you can see, this is still playing, but our master group's volume is down. So now that is also down. So if I bring this up, I can actually control these sounds individually. 
So now all you hear is the wind, or all you hear is the bird chirp. And as you can see, this all also updates based off of the attenuation. Cool. So now, now we have a little more control and ability to start mixing and matching our audio. But we're still not done yet. We can still do quite a few other things. So let's say I'm going to grab more clips and I want this wind strong to come in. I want this frogs to come in as well and this fly. All right, so now we come back to our audio mixer and our background um, sounds. We can actually go ahead and add the flies and the frogs. We're just going to add them into our background sounds. And now you'll hear all of them in one place. Or not. And so we can have all of our background sounds in one place. Now, what happens if, uh, you know, I, I like where I'm going. I, I really enjoy how the sound is. But let's say I want to change the mood of the actual scene. Well, I'm going to do this all in... Um, I'm actually going to add one more group, actually. And it's going to be... I'm going to call this boss. Right? Let's say something drastic is about to happen. Well, I want this boss group now to be what is played. And so that's going to simply involve us having a stronger wind. That's it. It's a stronger wind. And we're going to add that to boss. And I'm going to hit play. And so what I want to do is, is I only want this boss sound to play when we're in the boss zone. But I want everything else to kind of dim around. So I don't want this playing. I don't want this playing. I just want straight hard wind. Well, you can actually do that. And the way you can do that is, is we have this thing called snap shots and these snapshots will take whatever your current settings are and it will then save them down and allow you to easily fade in or fade out between the different settings so right now we have just one default snapshot which has a star next to it and so let's create um enemy one I'll just call it enemy one and so now we have two different snapshots now it doesn't look like anything has changed but if we can do this in edit mode, which is awesome. I hit play, go into edit mode, and now our snapshot has all of these settings. So what I want to do is I want to bring the wind up a little bit, get our background sound, some nice and ambient. But then enemy one, if I click on it, you'll see it has the alt settings on it. So now I can go back, I can change these. Uh, I can bring up this wind, because that's what I want. I want this really tough wind. And if I want, I can add both winds together. And now, I can just simply switch between these two. Awesome. Now, remember, we can still program this. And I'll definitely show you that in a later video. But still, there's one more thing that I still want to cover. And that's, it can get annoying. Let's say we have... 30 of these, right? We have, because, you know, we're, we're mastering sound now. We want the campground, right? We want the fire in here as well, because I have a few fire clips. Uh, let's see. What does this fireball sound like? Let's see. Okay, so that's just a straight fireball. That's fine. Uh, we have our campfire. So, so let's throw our campfire into the scene which you can also play from here as well, but that's all right. Uh, so I grab our campfire and I throw it into our fire. Just save it right quick. Let me bring this back in here. And so now you can see it's starting to get um, quite busy. And let's say we don't, we know for sure this is not going to be used right now. We just want to focus on on editing one thing. We don't want everything within our view. I'm just going to take that down uh, for this snapshot and bring that down. So let's say I, I only want what's visible, you know, what's what I what I'm currently editing to be visible. So in, in this case we want our boss. We want a little bit of the wind. Actually we'll get rid of wind. We want just the boss group and the fire group to play. So 
when I hit play, we'll get just that. We'll edit, we'll go to the enemy, and now we have just these two. Now, this is some of, sounds something like Tomb Raider. <laughs> um, and so what you now have still though is, is these two are here and we don't really need them. And so what we can actually do here is, is we can now take advantage of views. We can have multiple views. So we can call this boss and then we can call this, um, we can keep this as just our main. And so what I can do now is, is I can actually use this and hide them. So I'm just going to, to pause this so you can hear me. So for our main view, we don't want fire and we don't want boss to be visible. Uh, so right away, we have just those visible. Now you can have subgroups as well, um, but these two are the only ones that we need visible. Master is going to be visible by default. If you want to hide master, you can hide master as well. So we can focus on just that. But when I hit play, whichever one is available, those settings will still change. The master is still working. It's just it's not visible. So if we go ahead now, and you can, once again, you can still do this in edit mode. And we come to our boss, and you can see these are all here. And I want to keep master, but I want to get rid of these two. All in edit mode, I can keep updating. And that just allows you to just quickly and easily organize your sound. Now, I did leave out level two, but you know it's, it's also empty. And so these mixers allow you to group together in four different manners your sound for mixing. Now, this is literally just the beginning. Now, I know a lot of you can just jump in and just use this as is right now, and it'll make a huge difference in how you organize and how you work with your sound. But this whole new sound system is very, very deep. There's a lot of parts to it. So this is actually the first video in our simple Unity 5 audio mixer. So in the later videos, I'll show you a bunch of cool techniques that you can do routing sounds even more than what you're seeing now because there's a lot underneath the hood. So this is ESN Abelard from Passion 47. Keep a lookout. There's a lot more coming. I'm out.